We're gonna make these very, very quick. Okay. So, guys, we're just gonna follow the rules of logarithms. So what it asks us to do is evaluate this log, all right? A couple things you guys have to remember. When using logarithms, we don't wanna deal with roots at all. So we wanna put them in exponent form. So remember, I can put an exponent up here inside my, um, in my radical, um, and that's gonna be eight to the first power. Then what I can do is I can rewrite this as log base two of eight to the one fourth power. And the reason why we always like using exponents when dealing with logarithms is because that property of logarithms states that whenever I have an exponent, I can take that exponent and put it in front, right? So now I can rewrite this as one fourth log base two of eight. So is the um, fraction basically cancel out the square root? Is that why you get rid of it? I didn't get rid of it. I just put it in front. What do you mean? Or this is the same thing like um, if you want to type your calculator, if I took like the square root of 16, mm -hmm. right? We don't write the 2 there, but there really is a 2 there. All right? We just, it's so common that we just don't write an 8. But if you want to type your calculator square root of 16 or 16 to the 1 half power, they give you both 4. So it's the exact same thing. We just, when you're doing a square root, we just usually don't write the 2 because it's so common. So I rewrote this as 1 fourth. I bring it to the front. Now we just have to know what logarithms are. Remember, all logarithm states is 2 raised to what number gives me 8? And we know we can evaluate this for 3. So 1 fourth times 3. 1 fourth times 3, change that to numerator, multiply class. 1 times 3 is 3. 4 times 1 is 4. And that's my answer. Three fourths. I did it. I did it.